Most of us go through the same exact boring path throughout our lives. When you're 16 years old, 17 years old, 18 years old, you work really hard, try to crack that exam like JE, BITSAT or NEET or whatever it is that you're given. And once you're 20 years old, 21 years old, then you're forced to go to a job which pays you the highest so that you can grab the highest package in your campus and in your college. And post that, you work really hard to get that promotion, to get that raise, to get that MBA and life goes on. But the truth is, how do you actually escape the matrix? If you're new here, my name is Hari, I'm a recent graduate from Bitsplani. And here, I have learned a couple of things over the last few years that I want to share with you. So if you're someone who's just starting out in your job, or if you're someone who's in your final year of college, or in your college, then this video will be perfect for you. After talking to several smart people and interacting with several industry leaders out there, I realized that your ability to escape the rat race is just a combination of three different things. And a friend of mine told me that your confidence is the direct ability of you to provide value to the world. And if you want to provide value to the world, the first most important thing that you need to focus on is your skill set. When I was in college, I was trying really hard to be a software engineer. And to be a software engineer, I had to have a certain amount of skill sets. Learning how to do data structures and algorithms properly and learning about obituary programming properly. Learning things like Android development and learning about backend development using different frameworks. And these kind of things really helped me boost my confidence and it helped me crack a lot of interviews when I was in college. And if you're someone who's preparing to be a video editor, if you're someone who's interested in creating content, then learning the relevant skills will be very important to you. Because trust me, in the world, skills is what matters. And if you want to learn the right skills, then trust me, you need to put your effort and hours into it. And learning the right skills, it will help you give a backup for yourself. And have, you know that you have the right skills. So in the back of your head, you are confident enough to understand that even if I jump out of my job or even if I don't do anything for like a couple of months, then you'll, you'll still be okay. Once you go through the tough journey of acquiring a skill set, it is time for you to learn how to give back. Right. So India is a very tough country to live in, right? I mean, there's a lot of problems, a lot of issues. And the truth is, there are a lot of people who have faced the exact same problems that you had faced a couple of years back or even a year back or whatever it is. Everybody has some skill set or the other. It doesn't have to be a hard skill. It can even be a soft skill. It can be something like learning how to play a guitar. It can be learning how to play a sport or whatever it is, right? There are some things which come very naturally to you and it does not really come a lot of naturally for certain other people. And that is your opportunity to add value back. Let me give you an example. When I was in my final year of college, I had absolutely nothing to do. I was just chilling out. My courses were done. My placements were over and you know, I had a lot of free time. So I thought, let me just try starting a YouTube channel. Let me see how it goes. Just like putting some random videos and random vlogs and it was just fun for me it was a lot of fun creating videos and i loved doing it but i realized that a lot of people they needed help when it comes to cracking an exam like bitsat and cracking other exams like jmeans and other exams so having the right community when i was in college i knew a lot of smart people who had done really well so i talked to them i interviewed them and i tried to ask you know, like, what is the best way for them to go forward? How, what is the best way for aspirants to do well in an exam like BitSat? So that's when we started BitSat Busted. BitSat Busted started off as a community and now it has, last year it had close to 700 to 800 people who had taken our products and it really helped them while they were preparing for BitSat as well. So having the right way of giving back either through the form of social media or YouTube and creating a community and forming a product out of it, it really helps solidify your position as a person because you know you have something tangible to give back. And at the same time, it adds a lot of other people value into their lives because you know they are also genuinely going through a problem that you had once gone through. And now you have the skill set to solve it for them. You know, whatever comes naturally to you, something like physics, chemistry, maths, logical reasoning, English, it is it doesn't really come naturally to a lot of other people. So the difficulty of your juniors and other people, that's the opportunity for you to go and solve it for them. The third thing that you need to ask yourself is. What excites you about the future? I saw a podcast where Elon Musk was saying this. Things that make us excited about the future. You know, the future cannot, it, it cannot just be that miserable thing after another. And I truly resonated with that. You know, life has just been like about solving one problem from another, trying to get into a good college, trying to get a good job, and then trying to climb the ladder and all these other things. 
But what really excites you about the future? I talked to one of those guys from the Tech Crow show. I'm not sure if you've heard of them, but then they are, they get paid to roast techies, and they get paid more than several executives in India just for doing this, making fun of them, and doing comedy. And several other people they have now figured out how to create content and they make money by doing what they love, right? And it is time for you to figure out that as well. There is something that you truly love doing, and it is your job to figure out how to monetize it. And if you ask for me, my passion lies around somewhere in the intersection of tech, content, and entrepreneurship. And one of the problems that we've been trying to solve is in the space of dating. You know, like every dating app out there is kind of kind of scamming people. You know, you're just swiping endlessly left, right, and center. And then there's been several concepts like spotlight, this light, that light. Like where you're just trying to get more and more money from the users, but they're not really solving any problem. So that's what I've been trying to solve for the last few months. We've been trying to build a product. We've been trying to get user reviews, trying to understand what people actually want from dating apps, and we're trying to build something that can actually help people out. And if you want me to document more of that, do let me know in the comment section below because I would love to do that. If you watch it till here, then I have something very, very important and special to tell you. If you don't really have a plan for yourself, then you will fall into somebody else's plan. And trust me, like what they have planned for you is not something that you'll end up liking a lot. And if you don't end up liking a lot, then you'll just live life by desperation. Keep hustling for your dreams because if you don't hustle, then who's gonna hustle for you? I'll see you. Bye bye.